Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer and here I am again. Okay, this week has been a very, I'm just going to say it, it's been cruel. It's been grueling. It's been very harsh for a lot of us, right? So I hope that you've um, watched my videos that I've done over the last few days, part one, two and three. Um, how to disconnect from what is going on. There is a major, major spiritual war going on right now. Those who are oblivious to it are the ones who are getting angry. They're getting bitter. They're getting short um, attention spans. So they're getting irate when they go out into the world. And they're impatient, frustrated types. I hope that you've been noticing this, okay? Because it's happening everywhere. Um, you know, I'm in Australia. I talk to people in Europe. I speak to people in the Middle East, Brazil, US, Canada, etc. And there's so many of us feeling this, okay? A lot of psychics are even doing lives now where we are inundated getting energy attacks. So... I'm going to do a video in a few days about what is an energy vampire and the weirdest thing is the site where it's listed. Who would have thought that an official government health health website would have energy vampires it's talking about and everything. <laughs> you just read it. It's like, government did that. Government does that. Government does that. Oh, my God. So that's going to be a good one in a few days. I'll get to that one. Okay. But today I want to talk about more about when we disconnect from all of this going on and we start getting centered within ourselves, how do we go to sleep? Because when we go to sleep at night and we're unconscious or we're subconscious, we don't have much say or control over what happens, right? So I'm going to share a few techniques right now on how to sleep better than what we are. Because if you're sleeping like me at this point, I'm virtually sleeping 20 hours a day because I am so fatigued and lethargic from all this energy war that's going on. So first one I want to talk about, we put up our protections at night before we go to bed. You make it like a declaration to the world and you give out the rules of what is going to happen for the duration while you're asleep. So this is number one, rules of engagement. What you dictate is going to happen. I declare, because it's a declaration, okay. I declare that I'm about to go to sleep. I declare that there will be no negative, bad energies that can come to me. I declare that I'm about to have the best sleep that I have had in a long time. I declare that I give no right or permission to any external energies to attach to my mind, body, soul, spirit or energy field. I declare that as soon as I put my head on the pillow, I am going to be calm and I'm going to be tranquil and I'm going to be so peaceful that I sleep for at least six hours before waking up. So we put out all these rules. We tell any energies that's lurking around within earshot. We tell them what we want and what we don't want while we're asleep. And we also tell ourselves what we expect from our own body. I declare that I am going to sleep for eight hours straight. Because then your brain hears what we say. And it creates it into reality. So that's number one. Make your nightly declaration. Okay. Number two. We all know about counting sheep. Right. But I don't count sheep in my head. 
I count numbers. What the heck? Now I've done a video before and someone has actually asked me for this technique again and I believe this is one of the best ones out there. So okay we count numbers. So we count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Is that going to put us to sleep? No. But what about if we leave five seconds between each number? Ooh, okay. So let's do it now. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Did you notice what happens there? Your brain is concentrating on the next number in sequence. Huh. So if you lie on your bed and you just got annoyed with me, thinking, come on, Linda, get through the five numbers, because all I'm thinking about is four. You're about to say four. You just passed the test. Because what happens is when we slow down the numbers, our brain is thinking about the next number in sequence. And it can't be thinking about all those things that keeps us awake. I've got to go home and get the washing tomorrow. I've got to go and do groceries. I've got to pick that lady up and take her to the doctors. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. I've got to be there for that. I've got to do this. Oh my God, I can't sleep because I've got all this stuff going through my head. But guess what? When you count slowly like that, your brain has got no time to create the future events going through our head at 10 p.m. because we're concentrating on the next number in sequence. So try that one, okay? Now the next thing I do, let me just get a pen and paper here out and I'm going to show you what I do. And I'll just get a thicker pen out of my desk here. Okay, so when you count your numbers, imagine it in your head. So the number one. You look at your number one like that and you think, right, I'm going to fill it in with stars. So you colour it in with stars. Oh, I'm just doing this quickly, guys. Okay. Okay. So you fill it in with stars. So you just keep putting stars in your one. And then when you get to number two, five seconds later, because remember, you want to go at least five seconds so you think number one. So you imagine this outline of your, of your number one. You fill it up with stars. Number one's full of stars. Number one is full of stars. Number one is full of stars. And then you go to a number two. So you do this again in block numbers, right? So there's your number two. And there you might put in flowers, blue lilies. Okay, so you've got your flowers. You fill it up with flowers. Okay, so you fill it up with flowers or your little blue lilies. Okay, blue lilies. So then you're thinking, okay, two, two is full of blue lilies. Blue lilies, number two. Blue lilies, number two. And then you think number three. So you do it again and you and you create your number three in a block. Yeah, yeah. So there's your number three. And then you do number four. So here's your number four. You might fill it up with horses. And you fill up your number three with stars again. Or some object that you love. Little sheepies. Hello, that's what we're trying to do. Go to sleep, right? So you, you visualise the number. And you think, number three, what am I filling it up with? Number three, what am I going to fill it up with? Diamonds. Oh! Fill it up with diamonds, rubies, sapphires, 
red, greens, blues, red, greens, blues. All this repetition, okay? Because that's how we shut off our brain and it makes us go to sleep. So you think, I can do that, that's easy, Linda. So now let's make it a little bit harder. So when you count to one to five, now go to ten. But leave ten seconds between each number. So it's number one. But you go ten seconds. Number two. Because now your brain is really struggling to come up with that next number in the sequence, right? So you get to number 10, you think, wow, that was easy, I'm still wide awake. So now you count to 50, but you leave half a minute between each number. Huh, now it starts getting really hard because your brain starts to really want to wander. It'll say, oh, stuff this, I'm just going to start thinking about all the stuff I've got to do tomorrow. You know, the stuff that you're trying not to think about now because that's why you're counting in the first place. So you're thinking, no, I can't think about that. No, I've got to get back to my numbers. But then you think, what number was I on? Huh, start again. I've been to number 24 heaps of times when I go to bed and I think, what number's next? Oh, man, start again. So I love my number counting at night time. It really does work because it's all about repetition. And it's boring out the brain, making it want to go to sleep. <laughs> so try the numbers, okay? That's another one that I like using at night. The next one is stuff your numbers. So throw those ones away. And we think of words, but we spell the words the same as we did with our numbers. So the first word is calm. This is a good one. This one gets me to sleep a lot. So you think of the word calm. What's the first letter? It's a C. C. So you fill it up with your numbers or your flowers or your diamonds. And then you think, what's the second letter? It's an A. So you think of the letter A. C A and you might fill this one up with little ducks. And then you think what's the next letter? L. You think okay, L. I might start throwing oh, I don't know. I like I like chocolate. So I'll put little chocolate bars in this one. L. And then you get to the M. And you think, "Oh, what am I going to put into the M? I'm going to make it my little block figure and I'll fill this one up with little toy cars, little Barbie dolls or something. So you think about your C, and you think about your A, you think about the L, M, C, A, L, M, calm, calm, C, A, L, M. Then you do the same thing, leave three seconds or five seconds between each letter, C, A, L, M, calm, calm. I'm going to put little, what did I put in the first one? Little flowers. What did I put in the second one? Little unicorns, butterflies, dolphins, rainbows. Next one's filled up with diamonds, emeralds, or whatever. What did I put in the last one? Little chocolate bars. So you, then you think, what did I put in the first one again? What was in my sea of calm? Sea of calm. I don't know if you watch movies, but there's one that I love. It's called um, Game Plan with the rock in it. It's Dwayne Johnson and he gets this little girl at his doorstep and it finds out that it's his daughter. And she's telling him a story one night about her dolls with dresses. I've got a purple dress on a purple doll. It's got a purple, it's got a purple ribbon in her purple hair. It's a purple dress on the purple doll. The purple doll is called purple doll because she's got a purple dress on a purple bow on her purple shoes because it's all about repetition repetition when we want to go to sleep because our brain gets bored because it's so active all the time 
that when we shut down all that external voices and thought processes and we're saying no you're just going to say the purple dress because that's another technique and I love it thank you The Rock for doing that one game plan is the movie that it's from okay is a footballer anyway so she's there and she says I've got a yellow dress on my yellow doll my yellow doll wears a yellow shoes my the yellow shoes are on her yellow stockings on the yellow dress on the yellow doll because she's repeating the word yellow so you visualize this with yellow yellow shoes yellow stockings yellow dress yellow hair yellow doll and your brain just gives up and goes to sleep <laughs> so there's some techniques on how to sleep because the videos that I've wanted to put out this week are all about how to separate, how to get away from all this other activity do, 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 that's going on around the planet. If you have liked this video and you'd like to buy me a coffee in thanks, the link's below. And I hope that you sleep great tonight. I hope that you've liked my videos. Give me a like if you do. Share them with your friends if they're struggling with anxiety or not going so good. And my next video, pardon me, is all going to be about energy vampires. So I hope you like that one. Stay tuned because it's from the government health site. <laughs> gorgeous. It's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about here. Have a great night, guys. Sleep well. And I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.